Uh, what? A giallo killer. You know the old Italian movies where the killer who's dressed all in black stalks someone who witnessed a murder? And they even used some silly backstory relevant murder weapon? Hey, this isn't silly. My mother was killed by a tire iron while changing a flat. Now to get revenge, I... Stalk everyone who was related to the guy who put the tire on or something? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. This is Deep Red Revisited! You still don't know what a giallo is? Ugh. Okay. I'll show you. So... It is great that we're talking about this because I am going to be releasing so many videos on Gialli soon. So excited for my Giallo era. Giallo movies get their name from a genre of cheap Italian pulp novels known as Il Giallo Mondadori. These novels got their names from their bright yellow covers and featured many of the defining characteristics of the Giallo film genre. Even though many gialli were printed during the early half of the century, the first true giallo film didn't come until Mario Bava's The Girl Who Knew Too Much in 1963. Now you may ask, how are they any different from a regular old mystery or slasher film? What makes a giallo a giallo? Well, there are some very important recurring themes. The protagonist witnesses a murder, usually committed by a questionably fashionable killer with leather gloves, who begins to stalk them and their loved ones, making them the new target. Think Marcus from Deep Red. Characters are often suspicious of or laughed at by authorities, forcing them to take matters into their own hands. And many films feature complex, nuanced women protagonists, Something that American slashers, inspired by Gialli, failed to adapt. Gialli also tend to feature heavy violence and over-the-top deaths, such as the infamous impalement kill in Bay of Blood, which was copied by Friday the 13th. Also, we can't forget the blood. Oh my god, the blood. It is bright red. Think of paint. Red paint. You can also tell a giallo by their cartoonishly long and sometimes confusing titles. Honestly, these things are like Mad Libs. You just throw some combination of animals, colors, or numbers together and you've got one. Some examples are The Black Belly of the Tarantula, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, or even Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. The less descriptive and more vague, the better. Like. All the Colors of the Dark, or Don't Torture a Duckling. Dario Argento actually broke this rule a couple of times with titles like Suspiria and Opera, though. Gialli tend to have very dreamlike, surreal atmospheres, which are exemplified through the vibrant lighting and over-the-top camera work. We're talking zooms, extreme close-ups, and cartoonish lens choices. Those are the name of the game. And we cannot forget about the absolute bops. Lots of synth-heavy dance music and progressive rock soundtracks. Love it. Another important aspect of Gialli is the dubbed dialogue. Actors spoke in their native languages on set and would be dubbed over later in post, sometimes quite poorly. Poorly? What do you mean poorly? Oh. Another way of knowing you're watching a giallo is by some quintessential cast and crew members. Popular directors include Mario Bava, Dario Argento, and Sergio Martino. And some popular actors include Daria Nicolotti, George Hilton, Barbara Boucher, and the queen of giallo herself, Edwidge Fennec. The first wave of Gialli ended in the late 80s and 90s, but the influence of the genre can be seen in American slashers for the last 40 years. And there's even a wave of Giallo-esque films that have been released in the last 10 to 15 years, such as The Neon Demon, Malignant, and Last Night in Soho. So some modern films even go as far to say that they are Gialli, such as Knife Plus Heart, which was released in 2018. So if you're into delving into Gialli, here are five that I think are best to start with. Deep Red, 
Blood and Black Lace, Suspiria, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, and Tenebrae. Anyway, if you want to find out more information, you can just go on my YouTube channel, Sweet and Spooky, and watch my videos. And after you watch my videos, you can comment down below which Gialli you like and which one you would like to see me talk about next. And to make up for breaking into my house, you can like and subscribe and become a patron on my Patreon today. Links in the description box down below. <sighs> Can I go now? Well, the police are on their way, so hope you like prison food, motherfucker. Bye.